Dar, it's uh, Thursday, uh, the 28th of March. I'm just finishing up writing an article um, called Nicely Made in China. Uh, and whilst this video doesn't add much content, I just thought I'd, I'd make it anyway. Um, so um, this is a, a post about marketing. Um, and the first you need to know the fact that uh, for a period of at least uh, 20 years, I've slept on a mattress on the floor. Um, it's it's it, it's mostly for the reasons of minimalism and um, why not? Um, but in the last couple of years, I've I've had increasing amounts of back problems, and I'm just trying to get to the bottom of what's gone wrong and what can I do to fix the problems. Uh, so the latest idea is to buy a minimalist, uh, very small metal frame, which is what you see in front of you, um, and that currently comes from a company called Zinus. And this is really a, 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 an article about marketing and a meritocracy. Because for a long while, um, I'm, I'm guessing multiple decades of my life, um, I've very much respected many of the products that have come out from China in terms of their robustness and their quality. But they've often come through intermediaries. So for example, you'd walk into a high street store in the UK and the product that you're buying actually comes from China and the Chinese manufacturers get very little profit but the UK retailers and the distribution chain and the, and the, and the wholesalers they get all of the profit or nearly all of the profit which I've always thought is very unfair and secondly there's always been a kind of two-tier approach whereby European manufacturers um, engender into the UK public or the European public the idea that their goods are superior to any of the Chinese goods. And it often um, comes down to things like the presentation of the goods. Uh, is the literature, is the instruction manual good? Does it contain any spelling mistakes? Is it in multiple languages that you can understand? What is the quality of the, of the, of the tools that are used to do the uh, assembly? So, to cut to the chase, I bought this product on Amazon it's from a Chinese company called Zinus. It's a bed frame. Everything is done correctly. And by that, I mean to say is, uh, just scroll through what I've written, the product is 100% fine. It's very economically priced. Um, it comes with, I've got, some, I've got the props in front of me. It came with a bag containing a lovely envelope and in that envelope were a postcard, nice like glitzy little postcard, some flawless instructions in multiple languages, and in the bag were, a, again, perfect instructions, very easy to follow. They sort of did everything right, and this is where, again, you know, historically Chinese brands who tried to directly market to Europe fell down because their presentation was just not very good. And so if you had a Chinese product that was coming through an intermediary, through a European intermediary, they sort, they'd sort all of this out. But now, of course, the Chinese brand can do all of this themselves, and they can do it well without any errors, and they can sell direct to me, the consumer. And so I've got this product at, I'm sure, a fraction of the price than had I walked into somewhere like John Lewis, to take an, an example from, I guess, my childhood, which is the, the quality brand du jour. So yeah, this is just to say it's now very much more of a meritocracy. And again, you have to admit that Amazon, love them or hate them, are a, are, are a, a distribution channel that can you know, accelerate your ability to get these goods direct or more direct from the manufacturer than you could ever have got them in the past. So that's it really. They've done everything right and there's no reason to poo-poo them. The packaging was good, the internals were good, the tool to make the assembly was good, everything was good and the product, which was probably always good, um, is now able to be seen for what it is good because we can't poo-poo all of those little mistakes they might have once made. Thanks for watching.